Richie. Hi, Sin. Hi, everyone, and welcome to episode 11 of What, Where, Why Locations of Bloodborne. And today we're talking about the large building that the cannon and the suspicious beggar are located in. Yes. Recommended by What, Ru, Casual. I'm assuming Ru stands for RuPaul. So they are RuPaul or they're talking to RuPaul? I think RuPaul is a patron. That would make sense, honestly. <laughs> what is the name of this location in English? Large Windmill. What is the name in Japanese? Die Windmill. I don't know. <laughs> How do you say large in Japanese? Google Translate is so good. It has the English pronunciation underneath, and it says, Okina Kazaguruma. But that may not be the official translation. No, no. <laughs> okay. Richie, could you please yes. describe it? It is, a, it is a large windmill in Forbidden Woods. And it's not in very good condition, because when you go inside, you can see that the cogs are smashed. And they appear to have been smashed for a very long time. And there's no way that, even if it were windy, it could function. Because the, um, the, the mechanisms inside are completely fucked. And a lot of people seem to have, like, climbed it. There's a... Uh, some like people who were hiding up there. There's a a large like transformed guy. There's the beggar. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And there's a, a an elevator that connects to another part of Forbidden Woods. So it looks like people still come and go from the windmill, but it's not actually like used anymore. When was it built? Why did you add this question? Surely this, surely this is optional. What? Why? It, I, what? Explain. I don't know when it was built. Okay, but I told you the trick is to use reference points. You can say it was built at the same time as the rest of the Forbidden Woods. Uh-huh. So, Richie, when yes. was it built? <laughs> at the same time as the rest of the woods. Oh, but... Tell me, when was the rest of the woods built? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Richie. <laughs> now, who built it? Uh, people that live in the village built it. Okay, okay. Is it the people who live in the village, or did somebody else come in and build it for them? Well, they got an outside contractor. That's what I envisioned when I when I wrote this question, who built it? It's like people in the village, outside contractor. I don't know, Willem came up and built it. Willem built it. <laughs> I mean, it is, a, it is an extremely large windmill. Because, like, you'd think a forest is a stupid place to build a windmill because there's trees everywhere. So the wind would, like, get caught in the trees and it wouldn't power the mill. But if you look at it, like, from... You can see it from where, where Alfred is waiting. And, like, it's huge. It, like, it's like a, it's like a skyscraper-sized windmill. It juts, like, way, way over the tree canopy. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are there many windmills near where you are? I don't think I've ever seen a windmill IRL. Do you have, like, turbines? I don't think so. Because the train I get, I mean, I used to get before we weren't allowed to travel, but like that, that would go past an absolute ton of giant turbines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like they're, they're built in a forest, but they're like up, they're like that. They're up really, really high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you look at like, at, at the sort of windmills that like it's based on, mm -hmm. um, they, Clearly, in like, like they're not. They're like two stories high. This one is like, this one is like five stories high. It's huge. Thank you, Richie. 
Which materials were used? Uh, wood and stone. Thank you. Where is it located? Forbidden Woods. Thank you, Richie. You, you know um, the what the place leading to it is called? What? Cannon Alley. That's like that's like a name we would make up. <laughs> Cannon Alley. Love it. Uh, thank you, Richie. Now, why was it built? That's actually a really good question. Because mm-hmm. it, it's, as far as I can tell, there's no indication of, like, what it was doing. Like, what, obviously it's a windmill, but, like, was mm-hmm. it, well, was it like a sawmill? I don't know. Like, what? what was the... What was it generating, like, motion for? Like, usually a windmill, what does it do? Well, like, they can, um, obviously, generating electricity, probably not. No. Considering where we are. Um, it can, like, grind grain Mm -hmm. is one thing it can, like, yeah. Um, uh, like, um, anything that involves spinning, so, like, getting, like, buckets of water up. Um, Richie. Yeah. Uh, in the Forbidden Woods, did they um did they sell the beast blood pellets? Not until like very recently. Okay, I was thinking maybe it was used to make like some weird blood stuff, like blood pellets or whatever else. But we've we've talked a bit about like. Forbidden Woods kind of being screwed over by the Yarnum quarantine. Because you can see that, like, the buildings in Forbidden Woods, they all started off being stone. And very nicely kept. And then over time, they've had to replace the, the like, um, the stone parts of the buildings with wood. So mm-hmm. it's like everything is sort of patched up and held together with inferior materials. And you can see that, like, they just have to, like, hunt rabbits for food because there doesn't seem to be anything else. So everyone just seems to be eating rabbit and nothing else. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so, and, like, the windmill having decayed and fallen apart seems to be part of that. Mm -hmm. So you get the sense that, like, whatever Forbidden Woods did, it can't do it anymore. And, like, the the windmill, I'm assuming the windmill fell into disrepair. It wasn't, like, destroyed intentionally. Just like it wasn't being used, so they abandoned it. But I don't know what they used it for. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, but theoretically they could have used it for grains or whatever. Yeah, they could have. But, like, where's the fields where they would have the grains? The other well, thing like, is you see yeah. these, they're like pots, and in them they have, it's, it just looks like black goo. Mm-hmm. And I assume that's tar for, like, holding all the um, the wooden parts of the houses together. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Hang on. I'm going to see windmills. Tar. It doesn't seem like it. So, like, I don't know if windmills can be used to make tar or not. But the thing is, like, it has to be something that it that, that Forbidden Woods doesn't do anymore. Mm-hmm. So it's possible that, like, I want to say maybe they did, like, grind grain there. But there's no evidence of farming in the whole area. Mm-hmm. So, like, I don't actually know. What, what did Forbidden Woods do? Like, it's you can sort of figure out what purpose of other areas. With Forbidden Woods, it's like this is just somewhere that it was a town and now it's, like, completely like falling to pieces like i feel like we would have to have a whole other podcast because forbidden woods when we go into it as it is it seemed just like dismantled and completely out of it yeah so like maybe you know what maybe there was a field where there is now a swamp or you know what i yeah. mean like because what, what one of our theories is that like the forbidden woods area is actually just called bergenworth mm-hmm because it's like Bergenworth University, so it's like it's it's in the town of Bergenworth. Mm-hmm. 
So, like, my kind of take on it maybe is that the Forbidden Woods area through to Bergenworth is all just called Bergenworth, but they call it the Forbidden Woods because, like, the woods are where the Bergenworth excavation is happening. So it's forbidden. Like how, like how I live near a lake and like if the lake had Rom the vacuous spider in it and they were like Forbidden Lake. They probably call the area Forbidden Lake even though it's like mm-hmm. the town is called Ballarat. Okay. Thank you, Richie. What is its current purpose? D- well, it's it's not a windmill anymore because it's like... It's kind of like abandoned, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's a well. It's not abandoned because there's people in it, but it's not used as a windmill anymore. What is it used as? Well, people are just in there. It's just a structure. Like there's the the family like a storage taking storage, or I don't know. Like the, there's the family that the suspicious beggar ate. But it doesn't mean they lived there. No, but like they're taking shelter there. Okay. So it might be just you not know, like Erden Chapel, where it's like everyone mm-hmm. takes shelter here when the beast hunt is on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, who utilized it slash occupied it before? The windmill operator. <laughs> and who occupies or utilizes it now? Suspicious beggar and a family he ate. Oh my God. <laughs> There's also a man with um, snakes in his head. And a very hairy man. <laughs> oh, hang on. It says here that um, if uh, you can use uh, one common use for windmills is to stop ponds going stagnant. But if so, that would have to be the economy of Forbidden Woods is based on having a nice lake, which implies it was a tourist town. <laughs> I'm going to look. Hang on. Because I have... Where's my footage? I'm going to look at, like, my footage of the windmill to see if you can actually, like, what what is in there. I have 182 clips of Forbidden Woods. (laughs) Navigating by thumbnail. (laughs) Okay, here here we go into the windmill. So, like, there's, there's sawn up wood in barrows and stuff. But, like, that's all being used to fix up the village. And I'm starting to think maybe the the wood is there because they're, like, actually just taking parts of the windmill to repair the village because it's in such terrible condition. Yeah, there's a lot of, um like, barrels of an unidentified, like, black goo. And I'm wondering if, like, because it, it's not um, flammable. It's not oil. Like, if you hit it with fire, it won't explode. But, like, I I think it actually does have blood in it. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. I don't know what those are. Because there's a ton up the top of the windmill, but that could be because that's, like, the family had, like, hoarded food or something. And they're hoarding whatever's in the barrels. It's, like, it's darn weird is what it is. I don't say this often, but Dark Souls 2 made more sense than that. That was What, Where, Why, Locations of Bloodborne, Episode 11. The Windmill in Forbidden Woods, brackets large. (laughs) Macaroni in a pot, that's a large-ass windmill. Thank you, Sim.